Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Cyrus. Man, this is unbelievable. You guys are unbelievable so far. The crowd that was outside, the crowd that's in here, the media attention that we're getting to bring this unbelievable event right here to Marbella, Spain. And it's in a bullfighting arena. Bullfighting, bare knuckle fighting, it goes hand in hand, man. This is going to be unbelievable. It's going to be unbelievable. We have the World Championship, our first guy from, from Spain that's going to fight for a World Championship for BKFC, Franco Tenaglia. He's going to take on Tony Soto. We have this other guy on the far end that I've been trying to get for about three years now. He's going to be a superstar, Dan Chapman. And former two-time boxing world champion, Hannah Rankin from Scotland. And we're going to make ways with her as well. But this is just going to be truly unbelievable. We can't wait to do this event here. We want to thank everybody really for all the support and everything that you've given us so far. Thank you very much to the sports counselor here in Marbella and to the, to the city of Marbella, it's, or state of Marbella, or whatever it is, it's unbelievable here. But what I want to do for the first time in public is introduce my new partner, Conor McGregor. What's up, Marbella? What is up, Marbella? I tell you, Marbella is ready for some bare knuckle action, judging by the crowd here today, the crowd outside. You know, the roster we've got up here. I'm very, uh, very, very excited to be here. And you know, we are here today to witness the next evolution in combat sport. And nobody knows this game better than me. I conquered mixed martial arts, both inside the ring and outside the ring. And today I'm here before you as the owner of the newest and most exciting addition to the combat sports universe, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, baby. You know, the businesses that I own and support have always been those in sectors I believe in. I look for opportunities that mean something to me. Creating proper number 12 Irish whiskey, a whiskey that is truly representative of, of my Ireland was critical to me. McGregor Fast is a program I use to optimize my training and push my limits. I believe in it because I live it. Forge Irish Stout, as you can see, we're on the, on the screen, we have the cans here. I know you've got some cans out. I hope you're enjoying them in, in the crowd. It's a gorgeous example of the best Ireland has to offer. I'm incredibly uh, proud of these businesses, businesses and these products. You know, I do not enter any business ven venture lightly or without serious thought of what I can bring to the table. So when you see my name tied to Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, you know that I am truly committed to the business and bringing it to the absolute heights of success. I started out as a boxer and bare knuckle fighting is the purest form. Just watch one fight and you'll be hooked, like me. Yeah, now I started this, I watched a lady I know through the UFC named Rowdy Beck Rawling. And she was a, a female uh, world champion in bare knuckle fighting championship. And you know, I was, just, I was just taken back by what the sport was, what it was about. You know, any, any real fighter, any real true fighter inside of them knows that to have a, world, a bare knuckle fighting world championship is a real feather in the cap. And you know, once I came then live to see an event, I was blown away by it, you know, and then I just began conversations alongside Dave, who I'm a big believer in. You know, I don't just I don't just back back the product, I back the people behind the product. And Dave Feldman has done a tremendous job, a stellar job. You know, you look at the new signings we've got here, we've got world champions, uh, you know, we've got some incredible fighters here. This is a sport on the rise. And with my backing, I'm confident I can strap it to a rocket ship and send it right to the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship is number one in the space. There is, no one, there is no one on this level with us. We are separate from any other entity in combat sport. And that is a beautiful, beautiful place to be in this time. We do not want to see mixed martial artists go from one mixed martial arts organization to another organization. We've seen it. We wish for them to take their chances. Come and try your trade here at Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. Make a new name for yourself. Look at what has happened to Michael Perry. You know, one of, the, one of our big stars here, the king of violence, he, he titles himself. And you know, he's had such a, such a rise in the sport. Now he's up against, uh, you know, a little dweeb of a thing in a fight this weekend that we're all rooting for him. But you know, this is the real deal. No one, no one in this combat sports space can speak one word of bad uh, mouth about a bare knuckle fighting world champion. And that for me is money in the bank. So you know, for me, I have a bit of business left with the, with the Ultimate Fighting Championship, two fights left on my contract. But for sure, we've got three lightweights up here on the dais. 
And you know, I have my eye on all of this. You know, I'm not up here just as a owner. You know, player manager. Oh, I'll try on myself on this one, yeah. <laughs> you know, David, you've built something incredible to watch. Truly incredible to watch, like really eye-opening. This is like a sport like no other. And I am honored and excited not to be, to be up here, not just as an owner, but to be a genuine fan. So thank you so much for, for bringing me on board and teaming up. And you know, the sky's the limit, my man. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship has already seen enormous growth in its fan base, viewership, and of course, purse size. With the Mac Daddy on, t on, on board with this one, you know that's going to rise. So I hope, I hope all of our fighters up here on the dais know what's at stake here in this uh, upcoming event, October 12th. We have an open-air bullfighting arena. It's gladiatorial. So, you know, best bring it. Best bring it for this. And then if you've seen what has happened here in Spain only recently, the appetite for the fight game is, is vast. We had a 65,000, or they had a 65,000 see the stadium, or even maybe an 80,000 see the stadium, I believe, for, you know, influencer boxing with the six ounce or six, with the 16 ounce gloves. Imagine now we take off the gloves. We are looking at stadiums, we are looking at building this. Every, every event, we will look to rise our gate, we will look to uh, uh, rise our viewership, and, you know, keep signing big names, keep matching up great fighters and building our own stable of, of bare knuckle fighters from the ground up. You know, none more so evident than our event at the Hard Rock in uh, Hollywood, Florida. We had all, bare, all homegrown bare knuckle fighters on the card. Some amazing Cubans. Uh, well, you know, some of those Cubans are, are a real threat to this game. And they put on one hell of a show, and there were some great fights. We had our featherweight champion, Kai Stewart. He put on an amazing fight as well against uh, Joran. And, you know, these are, these are homegrown bare knuckle fighters who I'm sure, as this sport grows, will start to have a chip on their shoulder. You know, you're going to get these UFC guys coming over. You're going to get these boxers coming over. But these are the bare knucklers that started from the ground up here that have something to say about this. This is not boxing. This is bare knuckle fighting. This is not MMA. This is bare knuckle fighting. So, you know, we're excited for our guys to go in and show that. And, you know, exciting times are ahead. In this region here, Spain, it's great to be here, my first time here in Marbella, and exciting times in the sport. Let's go, I'm grateful to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs>